Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Gigi Fizz and we're on the dev kit. Uh, please keep in mind, anything on the dev kit probably will not make it into game or it probably will make it into game and everything on dev kit does change and nothing is to scale. Absolutely not. So, but I promised I would make another video as soon as there was an update and it's a big an update. So, we're going to go over the runes real quick first. So as you can tell, remember last dev kit video, a couple of them. What was the last one? No, I don't remember. They had all of these. Um, these are still not done, but we have these new ones over here. Uh, these are pretty sweet. This one, it's, this one right here is my favorite. Look at the detail on this. It looks so cool. Now imagine if you could build with this stuff. Huh. That'd be so cool. So amazing. So freaking cool. But, so, you can see that there's a lot of, uh, a lot of runes, and this one's cool over here too. This is like a head? Of something kind of looks like a monkey, doesn't it? Kind of looks like a monkey. It's still cool. We got stairs, more stairs. Look at how come we don't have building stairs? And this one obviously doesn't look done at all because it's like really, really uh, weird and has the uh, those uh, unfinished textures right there. But you know that's cool. So that's not what you're all here for. Hey guys, are here for all of this other stuff over here. Haha. -ha. As well as I want to show you these around the dev kit too. I don't know what these are for. <laughs> Maybe futuristic trophies or something? I don't know. They're kind of cool. They're very bright. So, as you know, this week we're getting uh, two new dinosaurs. We'll go over those first. We got the little penguin, which someone's going to pronounce uh, in the video. But I'm just going to call it the penguin. And he looks adorable. Now we're going to look at the end to see if there's um, any animations for these guys. As well as the anglerfish, which looks really scary. Like, super scary. And remember, nothing is to scale on the uh, dev kit, so this could change or it could not change. Looks really, really good though. Kind of looks like you can ride it. That it? you just mount yourself in the back. Oh, so cool, so cool. So we got these two. Um, this guy will be able. I guess you're gonna have to. You'll be able to harvest his, like uh, his light source, I guess, and you'll be able to make it into some sort of like light. So maybe like a lantern or a flashlight finally, instead of having like a flashlight on the um, the guns, you can just use this guy, Harvestus, as well as the penguin guy will be used for arming Polymer, I, was, I think it was Polymer, or was it Cementing Paste, can't remember, as well as they're very good for warmth, so that's going to be good for the uh, snow biome, and as you know in my series, my arc series, I live in the snow, so I'll be taming a bunch of these guys, as well as this guy's still here, he hasn't changed anything. Textures and all is still good. Animations are good. And the fur, um, I was trying to get the fur, but the fur is not implemented yet in the dev kit. So we'll have to do another video when that is done for the saber, mammoth, and the uh, gorilla. So, but here is the rough stage of a catapult because this right here is not, it's like this enchant, like the part. So I'm assuming I was putting it together like so. And I feel like it kind of goes there, but also I kind of feel like it might go like upwards. Um, but please keep in mind, like I said, everything's in the dev kit, does change and stuff, so it's not all like final. But yeah, so here's the catapult, which is kind of cool because it takes the same base as the uh, ballista and then just switches out this piece right here, which is actually kind of cool that they reuse this whole base thing because I actually kind of like that. It's kind of cool. Um, as well as it's actually like rotate so like you know how real catapults you have to like move the whole thing to like tilt it This is actually just on a swivel so you can just swivel it whichever way you want to shoot it Which it actually kind of makes more sense to do that It looks pretty cool. Here's uh, what the ammunition of it will be looking like though. It's like a giant boulder So I'm assuming it's going to be uh, To build it will be lots of stone and metal ingots I'm assuming just just to make it Looks cool. Get a bunch of these, put them all. I, I wish you can uh, place stuff, like place a bunch of these around, like make kind of like uh, set up like an RP thing, so you can make it like look a little fancy. That'd be kind of cool if they can do that. Uh, but they will be adding the drop items soon, so I have I have covered all that. Maybe they add more. I haven't seen yet. So, but here, this is kind of cool. This is uh, a cooking pot. Now, this this looks like the second stage of the cooking pot. So almost everything in this game is going to have a higher tier level. So like you know we had the 
we have the industrial girl that cooks the um, food faster, as well as we have the industrial forge right here, which has not been implemented in yet, which is on the dev kit still, um, which will cook metal extremely faster and a lot more at a time. So the cooking pot looks like we'll be able to cook more food and probably even faster with this, which is kind of cool. Pretty neat. Looks so cool. I like this little dial. I wonder. Imagine the dial changes. No, it's just a flat, flat texture. Oh, that's okay. And then here we have the minigun. Now this is the. Uh, I guess this is all we have for the minigun. It kind of looks like it's missing something right here. Maybe you put your spot in there. I don't know. You know what I mean? It kind of. I don't know where this would be. It kind of looks like it would be on a swivel. Maybe it's supposed to be attached to the um, turret. Um, but there's no other files with the minigun. Just it just just. Just has this, so it look, it's unfinished, but it looks pretty cool. It looks like it's going to be a swivel thing that you can maybe be able to control. Or maybe it attaches to something like this. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. And then we have three new artifacts. Now, these three artifacts I'm going to assume is going to be for Swamp, Broodmother, and Snow because this one is Queen, this one is Strong, and this one is Diverse. I think. I don't remember what the name of it was. I think it's diverse. So these are the two new, three new artifacts. Um, these look pretty sweet. I actually like this one a lot. It's a, it's gonna be a snow one. So, but adding to the collection of all the other ones we have. So that's gonna be sweet. As well as I'm gonna go over the industrial grill because why not? It's in here as well. Um, here's the industrial grill. If anyone hasn't seen it yet, it looks amazing. Also, what? The game's a little laggy today. It looks so good. It's not even the game, see dev kit looks so cool so obviously if you added animation this would come up pour your metal in and then shut it down it'd be so cool and here's the alchemy uh, ooh, ah, ah they've added more so they must be using this so this is an alchemy um, table it must be more for aesthetics or it might be used for um, making potions and stuff they actually changed these stuff up and actually added some more um, texture fixing on that so that looks pretty cool that looks actually really cool, actually. Look at that. It's going to be, like, moving and everything. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so let's go. Let's see if there's any animation for the penguin. Oh, I can't forget about this. Here is the turkey! Um, this is for a turkey, uh, terror event. Um, I don't know if it'll be a big boss turkey or you'll be able to hunt a bunch of little turkeys, which will be kind of funny if there was one big turkey, like the Dodo Rex, but it, like, just ran away. And it was just had a lot of health and just kept running and running and running away. Um, that'd be funny. And then it had like a little bait like a bunch of little baby turkeys running around. <laughs> that'd be so funny. But yeah, so here's the turkey. Um, yeah, not an official dossier or anything on it, but you know, it's kinda cool. It's a really good model actually. Really sweet. It's gonna be amazing. Hopefully you'll be able to hunt it and then you can like <gasps> turkey dinner or something. Oh, that'd be so cool. So anyways, let's go to the animations of these two. We got the angular fish. Now the angular fish actually has an animation of laying eggs. Uh, okay. This would be like the first thing that actually lays eggs if it does. It's pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see, bite attack? Oh my, look at that. Oh, it's got a like, you can see all the way inside of it. I don't know if that's intentional. <laughs> oh, let's see what else we got looked up. No, I don't want that. Down. Down. It's got a bunch of animations. Topor. And it's got a Topor E. All of these dinosaurs have them, but doesn't know doesn't mean that you'll be able to tame it. If you are able to tame it, I don't know what you're gonna use it for. I mean eggs, maybe it produces the eggs out of a light source so you don't have to kill them. But if you do kill them it gives you the light source, who knows? And that's going to sleep. Very nice. Oh, it does have tamed. And this is out of wild. Okay. So there it, it might be tameable, guys. I don't know if it says that in the dossier, but it could be tameable. It's not bad though, not bad. Let's look at the I wanna look at the egg one again. Where's the egg come out of? <laughs> There's no wood. <laughs> Uh, Alright, let's go to the penguin. Karaku. I'm just gonna call it penguin. Probably butcher that. Um, it does have lay egg animation as well. 
<laughs> it just looks like it's pooping constantly. <laughs> Moving forward. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Well, it's not too bad. It kind of just looks like it's doing the moonwalk because it's not actually moving right this second. It's not bad though. It's pretty good animation. Looks, it's gonna be really fun. Oh, hello camera. All right, so what else do we got? Oh man, we got a lot more animations on this. Eat, topori. Ah, so it looks like topor in. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> this crashes on the ground. And that's what it looks like when it's sleeping, eating, tamed, wakes up. Oh, I'm yours now. And then the wild one, get the hell out of here. I was asleep. That's cool. I mean, what is this? Side move. Oh, that's when it's swimming. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Ooh, it like pops out of the water. I think this guy is way more interesting than the uh, anglerfish. Oh, he's got the, what is this? Side rift? Startled? Ah! Ah! I'm bad with any sounds, so don't take my sounds personally. Slide in. Okay, so that's when he goes into the water. That's when he's going left. Big hurt. Oh, okay. Charge forward. <laughs> Look at it! It's so adorable, I think. It's just like... This guy's gonna be funny. Who? How many people are gonna be naming theirs Happy Feet? I think a lot of people are gonna be doing that. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, that's it for this Arc Dev preview video. If uh, if there's ever more, I will make a video for that. But this is a semi biggish update, not really small. But yeah, so I wanted to get you out all the information on that. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and please keep in mind that everything in the dev kit will change or not even, even make it into the game. Just like the, uh, there's some bunk bed stuff in here and some other steampunk stuff, but they are uh, just test subjects and stuff and things. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, and until next time guys, see ya, and thanks for watching.